boys and girls. Today we're going to make a super fun painting craft where we get to make um, Marlin and Finding Dory together. Today you're going to actually paint your hands, but if you don't have paint at home, you can also go ahead and draw the fish as we, as we show you um, with crayons, markers, colored pencils, whatever you have. Today I'm here with a special guest, my niece Brinley, and she's going to help us make this video for you today. So the first step, or first of all, I should tell you what you need. The, what you need for this activity are two pieces of paper, a scissors, a big paintbrush, a black marker, and then for the paints, you're going to need red, blue, yellow, and these are washable paints, and white if you have it. If you are painting, you're going to need something to put your paint on, like a paper plate and you're gonna to wanna to put some um, newspaper down behind it. Last, you're gonna need some tissue paper, whatever colors you can find. I have kind of a greenish blue and red. And then last, you're going to need some googly eyes. All right, so if you don't have those materials, you can pause the video and go ahead and get those. We're gonna go ahead and show you the first step. So my partner here is going to put out her hands She's doing such a nice job of being patient. And we're gonna start with our friend Dory, because we're going finding Dory. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take one of her hands and notice she's got her fingers close together. She's holding it nice and flat. And I'm gonna paint her hand blue all the way up to her fingertips. I'm not gonna do her fingertips just yet. You're gonna need to put it on kind of thick. And it is possible for you to paint your own hand You'll just have to do one at a time. But if not, it's great if you have somebody there to help you as well. I'm gonna get all the spots so there's no hand showing through. Notice I left her fingertips unpainted. I'm gonna put a little bit more on so it's nice and thick. All right, now, and it's gonna just wait. Don't press it down yet. I'm gonna take some water and then I'll get all that blue out. paper towel so I can dry it. So I'm going to switch colors now. All right, now I'm going to use yellow and I'm going to get in my, just painting her tips yellow to show the yellow that Dory has on her. Brinley's doing such a nice job helping me with this. All right. Now, Brinley, here's the fun part. Are you ready? <laughs> so you're gonna put your fingers together. Yeah. You're gonna close them together like that. Okay, so keep them together, okay? okay? And we're gonna pull straight down. We're gonna hold it, and we're gonna make sure every part of her hand is touching, okay? I'm also gonna pick up her thumb and move it close like that. It's okay if you have it out, but I'm gonna move it close. It's best if you keep your hand like that. And we're gonna pick it straight up. Wow! How cool is that? All right, so now you're probably gonna wanna pause the video and wash your hands so that both of them don't get dirty. Um, so I'm gonna pause the video now so we can wash Brinley's hand and do the second fish in just a minute. So go ahead and wash your hand and hit play when you're ready. Okay. All right, boys and girls, we're going to now do Marlin, the second fish. And so he's a little trickier, but I think you're going to enjoy making him. You're going to need orange paint this time. And you're gonna need that hand again, like my partner here is ready to go. I didn't have orange paint at home, so what you can do is if you have yellow and red, you can take some yellow, quite a bit of yellow actually, a little bit of red, and mix it together to make orange like I did. All right, my partner's ready, so she's gonna get her hand nice and flat. Okay, you can lay it down on the table. And now I know Marlin has stripes, so I'm gonna paint her hand in stripes. So I'm gonna do one stripe across. It's okay if a little yellow shows through like that. I'm gonna just do a couple layers so that it makes it more orange. Okay, now I'm ready for her next stripe. I might have to make some more orange as we go here. Okay, keep your hand nice and flat. She's doing such a good job. I have to dab it. Oh, look at that, that tickles. <laughs> it might tickle a little bit. <laughs> Tickling. 
You're doing such a good job of keeping it nice and still though, Brinley. All right, so we got our stripes. Ready? We're gonna make our striped fish right now. So I'm gonna help her. We're gonna keep all of your fingers together now. And we're gonna go straight down, ready? One, two, three. You're gonna push it nice and hard, rock it back and forth, and straight up. Woohoo! There's our striped fish. It'll look more like a fish in a little bit. Now, again, I want you to pause your video and go wash your hands so we can show you the next step. Okay. Sorry. All right, boys and girls, so after you got your fish painted, we're going to wait for those to dry. So we're going to take that piece of paper and set it off to the side to dry. Next, you're going to take your paints and you're going to take a quite a bit of white, just a little bit of blue for now. We'll probably mix more as we go. And you're going to mix that together to kind of make a light blue color, more like a sky color or the color of the ocean, better yet. That's what we're gonna make. Okay, so now you're gonna take your second piece of white paper, and I'm gonna have my helper, Brinley, help me with this part. You ready, Brinley? And all we're gonna do is we're gonna paint this whole paper light blue. What is that? Okay, we're gonna paint with that, Brinley. So can you help me out? And dark blue. Yep, we have dark blue, light blue, and white. So we're gonna paint with the light blue. Okay, can you help me? So you're yeah. gonna grab the paintbrush with me? Can you go? I'm gonna scooch in a little bit. Okay, look, can, you can grab on right here. And we're gonna paint together. And it helps to put one hand on the paper, how I am, and go nice and even back and forth. And because this is the ocean, it's okay if it's a little streaky. You can just go over the entire paper. And it's doing such a nice job. And if you need to mix some more paint, because you want to put it on kind of thick, that is okay. It's kind of wispy to show the water and the waves. You can go ahead and keep painting your paper. Make sure you get all the white spots covered up. We're going to keep painting ours too. But you can go ahead and hit play when you're ready for the next step. All right, boys and girls. So after you've finished painting your whole paper blue, you're, um, you'll notice ours isn't here because we set that off, um, off to the side to dry. It's very important that you had a piece of paper down or newspaper so that way when you went off the edges, it did not get on your table. It's also important to right away stop and go wash and dry your brush so that the paint does not dry in the bristles. Once you're done with that, we're going to show you the next step. So we're going to draw some seaweed to put in our ocean with um, Finding Dory or Dory and Marlin. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw some seaweed and then my partner here is gonna help you with something else to put on the bottom of the ocean floor. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start a little ways in and I'm just gonna go down off the edge of the page. I'm gonna go over a little bit and go down here. I'm gonna keep doing that and I'm gonna make it a little wavy. Make this side a little wavy to match. This is gonna be some seaweed sticking up. I'm gonna maybe just do three. The car on the table. Oh no, that's why we gotta have paper down, right? <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna start by drawing three with my pencil and I'm gonna set that off to the side and a little bit we'll cut it out. And now my partner here, Brinley, is going to help me by putting her hand down like this and she's gonna spread out her fingers and we're gonna make some little sponges to go along the ocean floor as well. So I'm gonna trace it. To be kind of careful tracing on the tissue paper because it'll rip if you push too hard. So I'm just going nice and lightly. You have to go along it a couple times. And let's do one more, Brinley. Can you move your hand down? Try it one more time. Perfect. Doing such a good job, Brinley. Such a good helper. She's having a blast. We're hoping you are too. All right, and now the next step is to grab your scissors and cut it out. So go super slow. Can I do it? Um, yeah, you can help me in a little bit. We're going to take a break here to cut it out. And you can cut yours out too in just a little bit and hit play when you're ready. Am I ready? All right, boys and girls. So here are my seaweed and my coral. And you'll see that the cutting isn't perfect. That's okay. It's kind of hard to cut tissue paper sometimes. But if you see pencil lines, I'm just gonna flip it over and it looks all better then. So go ahead and flip yours over so that the pencil is facing down towards the table. So the next step, if your paint, either on your hands or on your blue, is if it's not dry, you're going to have to wait and pause the video until yours is dry for this next step. 
our hands, Brinley's hand paintings, are pretty dry, so we are ready to show you the next step. So what you're gonna do next is you're going to just cut carefully, as close as you can, around the edge of her hand, which we'll make into our fish soon. If you wanna give a little um, fin on top, you can notice how I'm turning the paper as I cut slowly and try to make it look like the shape of a fish, which really, your hand kind of already looks like a fish. So all you have to do is kind of cut around the outside. This is gonna be Marlin, and then we gotta cut out Dory. So I'm gonna keep cutting, but you can go ahead, keep cutting and hit play when you're ready for the next step. All right, boys and girls, so once your blue paper is dry and you have your hands cut out, um, I'm gonna show you the next step. So our first thing we're gonna do is glue on our seaweed pieces. And so I know I told you to put the pencil side down, but because we want that side down, I'm gonna actually flip it over so that we can put glue on this side. And so you're gonna need some Elmer's glue, or if you don't have Elmer's glue, you can also use some, or a glue stick. Now, because it's tissue paper and it's really thin, can I, I don't- do that? You can help me, yeah. We're not gonna need a lot though, we just need little dots. Otherwise, it's gonna soak through the paper. Notice how we're going carefully along the outside edge. Okay, I'm, done. Okay, I'm gonna set this down. I'm gonna carefully flip this up. I'm gonna have it go like that and just tap it lightly down. And then do what? We're gonna another one? Yeah, we're gonna do the coral next, okay? Hold on, Brinley. We're gonna put the pencil side up and then we're gonna put dots on the outside edge again. Wanna help? Yeah. And hold it down. We're gonna put some more dots. Perfect. too much glue. There we go. Now I'm going to carefully pick this up. I'm going to line it up because I know that coral usually goes on the bottom of the ocean. I'm going to line it up with the bottom edge of my paper and tap it down. Now you can do the same for the rest of yours. Make sure you put the glue on the pencil side and then flip it over. Maybe you want to have more coral. Maybe you want to put some seaweed behind your or behind the coral. Um, you can make it however you want. So go ahead, glue your pieces down and hit play when you're ready. So I have all my seaweed and my coral glued on now. You can have more, make yours look different, be as creative as you want to be. Now, once your fish are dried and cut out, we are going to kind of place them to see where we want to put Marlin and Dory. Maybe I want Dory to be swimming kind of down to Marlin there. And I think I'll glue them on like that. So now I'm gonna flip them over. And just like the seaweed, I'm going to put little dots or a little line along the edge. Again, you don't need a whole lot of glue. Flip it over and press hold it down for 10 seconds. Okay, now I'm gonna flip over Dory. Do the same thing. Okay. All right, and I'm gonna hold her down and I wanna make sure all the edges are pushed down on both of my fish. All right, and there they are. Now is the part where we get to make them look more hey, like that fish. Animal? Yeah, it's gonna be Marlin. <laughs> so we, now we gotta put our eyes on. So I'm gonna give Dory a blue eye, and I think I'll give Marlin a green eye. So all you need is a little dot on the back. Notice so I'm only gonna use one of the eye for each because the other eye is on the other side of the fish. Now these eyes we, we did send home in your material bag from summer school, so you should be able to find some in there. I want to let those dry for a little bit. But now this part is fun because you get to make them look more like the fish. And so I'm going to draw on some little smiles onto each of the fish with my black marker by kind of doing a little triangle that points up here. Okay, So it looks kind of like they're talking to each other. Okay, And then I think it'd be cool maybe to show Marlin's stripes by outlining them. Add little details. Maybe you want to add some fins to them. It'll go along the outside edge like that for him. All right. Maybe I want to give Dory a fin up here. Just 
little details you can add to make them look more like Marlin and Dory. All right, so there's my final picture. I hope, or I'm excited to see yours and how creative you got. And my partner here and I, Brinley, we truly hope you enjoyed making your pictures with us. Have a great day. Have <laughs>